Dragon, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc! We're back again, and, uh, oh yeah, Sayaka's dead. Uh, man, we're looking for evidence, though, and soon we're gonna have the class trial. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but, but now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery that definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is the fact that she's dead. There's, aha, uh -huh, there's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come that's only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullet section. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Dot dot dot. Oh no, what else can we look at? You gonna look back there? I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood, there were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? Oh, clues! Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her. Yeah, we already seen that. I pressed the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, we can only look at two things in here. Okay, well, leave the bathroom. Yep. Hey, Kyoko. It looks like you found it. Right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? Zero, zero, uh, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, three, seven. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? So, Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Naegiku. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Uh-huh. Let's look at that message real close, guys. Do you know what it says? I know what it says, but that's only because I played up to chapter 3 and I watched the anime. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to the numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? That's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame! So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. 
Uh-oh. Huh? The doorknob. The doorknob is broken. Let's look at the doorknob. What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? Probably to come in and kill her. I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? But if they thought this was Sayaka's room because Sayaka was in here, she stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is, only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. <laughs> then that clears that up. Huh? Clears what up? I'm so lost. <laughs> well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room! <laughs> Bye, Kyoko! Bathroom doorknob. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was on that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out, too. Maybe I should go see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. And if they'll even talk to you, they think you're a killer. They think you're a killer, Makoto. But you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Oh, hi, Byakuya. Hello. So why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? N no, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. Oh, he didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. <laughs> even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> the reason why Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? No, Makoto, don't listen to Byakuya. Yeah, he's just a- he's just a bit of a bum. Then, it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. Th that's If that's really true, then I- No, no! You're making Makoto sad, ba Byakuya. Bakuya, is what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, everybody is just looking. They're like, Makoto, what's going on? Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Yeah, so they thought that this room was Sayaka's actual room. Huh, this is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates! That was an important piece of the puzzle. Okay, can we go in here? Let's go in! Let's take that DVD out of the trash and go watch it. Okay, take it out of the trash. Take it out of the trash. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Sorry, Sayaka. We're gonna see what this DVD has in it. Are you guys excited for what the DVD has? Because it's something. I'll tell you that, it's something. Oh, 
wrong button. I meant to press the sprint button, and I pressed the journal button. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a pretty interesting watch. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Wee! Okay, you'll see, you'll see. Let's put it in! I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put on the DVD. Put the DVD in the player. I pushed play, and the screen was dark for a few seconds. But then... There's Sayaka! An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friend she had been... She had been so important to her. Okay. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd. So full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken. And then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono! The ultimate pop sensation! Lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band! For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful! But then... Uh-oh, suddenly the screen went dark! And in the next moment... I saw something I could hardly believe. Uh-oh. <gasps> what the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. And they're on the ground. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What, oh what, could have caused this group to go to pieces? Oh man. Look for the answer after graduation, Donkey Kong text. Without warning, the video cut off. Oh man, that's so sad though. W what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? That really did happen. Everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Somebody who's crazy. Okay, let's leave the area. Hello, uh, Taka. Oh, I can do the mono mono machine. <laughs> I can put the coins in the mono mono machine. I wonder if Makta will say, hey, there's no time for this. Or if he'll be like, okay. Oh, yeah, we can do it. Okay. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> He's like, oh, evidence? Mono mono machine! <laughs> ah! Oh! Paper! We got paper, guys. Okay, should I put in the two? No. I'm just gonna put in the one. I want as many items as I can get. More paper! Come on! Come on! I don't want more paper! I want something new! Something new! Oh! What's that? I can't even tell what that was. I should probably get going. <laughs> it's like, well, that was fun. Now I gotta go look for more evidence. Okay, we should look in the garbage room because we we're talking about how the killer could have uh, threw out evidence. And I'm pretty sure that's an important room to go to. So let's go to the garbage room and thankfully i know the layout of this place a little bit more than the last time i tried to play this series <laughs> i'm not gonna be lost for like a million years which is good oh and i also know how to use the map so that's even better <laughs> it looks like some kind of switch i wonder what it does press it press it wonder what it does press it press it there's a hatch on the floor 
Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Okay, now we look over here. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Oh, Monokuma! It's the end of the line! The trash room! This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up! How do you get this gate open? No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning duty? No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! This is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! <laughs> Thanks, Monokuma. You really put that in our brains. We really know now. Okay, let's leave. Leave, leave, leave. You know what the good thing is? I know who's on cleaning duty, but I don't know where they are currently. Oh, I know where they are! Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me! Why do you ask? It just so happens that Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time! <laughs> So I formally applied for the position! I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Of course! It's my job to gather up all garbage and toss it in the trash room! And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate! But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. Somebody. Actually... Whoa. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered! That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. B boring Anyway, more important than that. Hey fatty! What Oh my god, that was so mean. That was so mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that. I didn't mean it. Hey! Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do! What's the big deal? Liar! I know why you did it! You want to dig through all the girls' trash! Looking for, you know, and poking around at it! What are you talking about? All I love is for tootie! But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that! Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and turn to... I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D! The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D! Oh, and PVC figures! How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them, from picking up the trash to disposing of it. What? If you're as innocent as you claim, what's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to- Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Yes, oh, okay! So easy! So Hifumi and I head down to the trash room. Let's go! Let's go! Speed run, speed run! <laughs> You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think... 
They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, just please hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Ifumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then, it's opened. However, Mr. Nagy, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You, you fiend! You planned this all along! N no! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy evidence or not! But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind! Wait! Maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. <laughs> Fuck that's like, I am fucking pissed! Hey, it's a thing on the ground! There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? <laughs> no, it's not a hunk of burning love, Hifumi. It's it's a sleeve. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth. And the shape... It's a part of a sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Why don't you look around for somebody with a missing sleeve, Makuto? I mean, you don't have extra clothes, right? So... There are shards of broken glass scatter scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass bulb. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah, is that? Do you even know what this is? If you say you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Um, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better find out for sure. Okay, we gotta go to the gym. Is there anything else we can look- Ooh, there's a lot of other things we can look at. Look at the button. The green button and the yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to this big mechanism. Okay, what about this? The incinerator? This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now! Oh, turn off! Do you see that green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? It's a pretty simple setup. You gotta press the green button to get going and the yellow button to turn off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave! Okay? Ah! Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Ifumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No, you just said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Yeah, yes, about that. There can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check this place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gates, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? How is it possible? Do you guys know? <sighs> this whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> what does all this mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. This sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. 
I don't know why I keep doing that with Hifumi's voice. But I realized, I'm pretty sure the voice actor makes him do that, like, deep voice. I just think it's funny. Hey, Mr. Nagi, you seem a little down. <laughs> why, really? Huh, really? If you need help lifting your spirits, call on me anytime. I've got all kinds of smut, or stuff that might help cheer you up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks, Hifumi. Um, thanks for the offer. Um, but goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Hifumi. Okay, we have to go to the gym now. Speed run, speed run, speed run. We're making some really good progress, but that's only because I know where to look. <laughs> I know where to look for the first three chapters, and this trial is the most uh, prominent one in my brain. Which is funny, because it's the first one I played through. <laughs> hey, Jim P- Oh, yeah, I forgot Junko was here. Hi, Junko. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I checked for a pulse. She really is dead. Makoto, you thought checking her again would do something? Hi, Asahiro. Hey, Hiro, can I ask you something? Oh, no, 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 I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it! Huh? Huh? Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah! That's my crystal ball! It's all smashed! What the hell? I, I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how'd it break? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Uh, um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the la laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Sh sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years came out to be like a million. A, a million? That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <laughs> hey, Makoto, where's your humanity? Can I talk to Chihiro? Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. Oh yeah, I had to ask Chihiro stuff too. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Uh, sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. I I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or maybe she could know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. I don't think so, but who knows? <laughs> In fact, I did know all along. <laughs> I know who it is, but I'm not saying nothing. I'm not spoiling this for you. We're playing through this together. I'm I got you by the screen, I got my arm around you, and I'm I'm playing the game with you, I'm going, look, look, look at that, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, I'm your friend that's played three chapters of this game and watched the anime and it's going, ha ha ha, look at this, ha ha ha, what do you think, <laughs> what do you think? So, uh, do you have any clues or anything? What kind of clues? Let us just agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever secrets I may have, I don't intend on revealing anything until the class trial. Okay, then, do you have any suggestions for where I should start looking? 
Ugh, so annoying. Must you fumble around fishing blindly for clues? Ah, <sighs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. The scene of the crime, naturally, but I think the trash room is also worth looking into. The trash room? It is the perfect place to destroy evidence. However, there's one little problem. Which is, that place is filthy. I would rather die than set foot in there. I am trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. Th that's... Um, wow, Celeste. Just to let you know, we already looked through the trash room. And we found, uh, a sleeve and a crystal ball. So, meh. Even though I gotta say, now I'm kind of like, where do I look next? I guess the laundry room? I suppose? I'm kind of like, oh, I thought that was it. I guess not. <laughs> I suppose not. Oh, maybe this. It's a washing machine. No, not the washing machine. It's a wash. He said, he said, it's a washing machine that has nothing to do with the case. Makto, I was trying to look at the table. No help there. I know the magazines aren't to help. I was trying to find glass shards or something. I don't know. I don't know. Who should I talk to? Talk to Leon. Hey, Leon, you got any snarky no. comments for me? Something doesn't seem right. The Malkuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got that. I got that. Should I talk to Kyoko? Oh. Oh, that was a long spin around. Well, I should probably find Kyoko. Where is Kyoko? Ha! Huh. Is she in her room? She won't be in her room. No way! She won't be in her room. Toko. Junko. Can I talk to Toko? Hey, Toko, this is Toko's room. I don't have anything to talk to her about right now. Where's Kyoko's room? Huh. I don't actually know where Kyoko's room is. Is she all the way over here? No? Where's Kyoko's room? Huh? Celeste, Chihiro, Toko, Junko, Makoto, Byakuya, Sayaka, Mondo. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! Ah, oh, her room's right next to Makoto's. This is Kyoko's room. I don't think there's anything that will help me. Except for Kyoko herself. Kyoko, where are you? Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Eh, I guess I'll go into the trash room one last time. Maybe. Maybe I didn't get everything in the trash room. Maybe I need to tell Hifumi something. Uh, hi Hifumi. Um, hey, Mr. Nagy, you seem a little down. If you need help, meh. Can you open this? There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Oh, you can't open it? Oh, oh, I can look up here. Thanks to Hifumi's help, I was able to get inside. Okay, I know that. I already gave the incinerator a good once over, so I think I'm okay for now. Um, what else is there to look at? I can look at the switch again. Whoa, so is that everything? Close what you open, put away what you take out, sleep after you eat, take care of what you buy. <laughs> Keep that gung-ho attitude in mind and we still gotta do the actual legwork, right? One of those things he said was definitely not like the others. Okay. Ah, uh, You know, I should not have said, um, hey guys, I've done this all before. I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm lost, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I feel like I found a... Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. We have to find where the murder weapon came from. I got it, guys. I got it. I got it. I know where it came from. You see? You see where it came from? You see? There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but... It looks like one of them is missing. What is... Was it missing from the very beginning, or... I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. 
kitchen knife set. Yeah, that was the thing. That was the thing. Okay, now we gotta talk to people. I think that's the last piece of evidence, I think. Hey! How's it going, Hina? Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it? Then you'd be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it! Yay! Always account! <laughs> hey, by the way... Did you really kill Sayaka? Wh what? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Well... She was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Ah, Ding dong, bing bong, it's trial time. We got all the evidence. Yeah! Trial time, trial time. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we all get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first, of first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! See you soon, Manokuma. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. No, where I should definitely go. No, where I'm required to go. No! <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to end it here, and we're going to do the trial in the next episode. It might be a super long episode, which is why I am ending it here. The trial might take up to an hour. I don't know. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Danganronpa. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I'll see you in the next episode. And if you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.